On September 9, 1874, Professor James McConnell made a post-mortem examination of a Chinese carpenter who had died from severe liver disease in the Medical College Hospital in Calcutta, India. A new liver parasite species, consisting of lanceolate flukes, was found in the bile ducts of the deceased patient. The result was published in The Lancet on August 21, 1875. In the same journal, four weeks later, the British helminthologist Spencer Cobold suggested naming the parasite Dystoma sinensi. In 1907, the parasite was renamed Clonorchis sinensis, the name it has today, by the German zoologist Arthur Luce. More cases of this infection were reported in the following years in other areas. For instance, in 1878 in Hong Kong, China, in 1878 in Okayama, Japan, in 1908 in Guangdong, China, in 1915 in Korea, and in 1915 in Taiwan, China. It has later become known that the disease has existed for more than 2,000 years, as demonstrated by the discovery in 1975 of C. senescus eggs in the intestine of an ancient corpse from the Western Han Dynasty in Hubei, China. In 1910, the Japanese parasitologist Harujiro Kobayashi showed that some freshwater fish act as the second intermediate host. Another Japanese scientist, Masatomo Muto, in 1918, found that specific species of freshwater snails are the first intermediate host. Thus, the life cycle of the parasite was finally established. Currently, Clonorchiasis is mainly endemic in Asia, including China, the Republic of Korea, and Vietnam. In China, about 13 million people are infected, predominantly in the southeastern and northeastern regions. In the Republic of Korea, over 1 million people are infected, especially along the four major rivers in the southern part. Another 1 million persons are estimated to be infected in northern Vietnam. The main reason for the transmission of this live fluke in the endemic areas is due to local people's love for eating raw fish, at home or at restaurants. The prevalence of clonorchiasis is still increasing in some areas in China, along with the growth of the fishery industry. It is a great pity that local people still have little knowledge of the parasite's life cycle and of clonorchiasis morbidity, and those who understand that consumption of raw fish can cause an infection think it is harmless. They have no knowledge at all of the relationship between Clonorchis sinensis infection and cholangiocarcinoma. The attention to the need for control of clonorchiasis has recently started to gradually increase. Clonorchis sinensis was reclassified as carcinogenic in 2009 by IARC. In 2010, WHO released its first report on neglected tropical diseases, which includes clonorchiasis. The global burden of foodborne trematodiasis was released in 2011 which ascertains the high disease burden of clonorchiasis, especially in China. Strong attention has been paid to the control of clonorchiasis in some intervention pilot studies. Massive chemotherapy has been applied and health education has been conveyed. Main media, including the China Central Television, has also broadcast education video and increased coverage. Knowledge is expected to spread on the national scale. A wide spectrum of study, including investigations of the genome and transcriptome and development of new drugs and diagnostic tests are starting. Sponsored by the International Development Research Center, a collaborative project is being carried out to explore sustainable control strategies on clonorchiasis and opisthorchiasis. This project involves China, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand and Vietnam. At the moment of the 140-year anniversary of the discovery of clonorchiasis, 
we benefit from more and more scientists carrying out research and control from the bench to the field. However, we still face great challenges because of the complex disease transmission and a great burden of disease in many countries in Asia. In collaboration with the international community, we anticipate to eventually control and eliminate clonorchiasis.